guys, it's Caleb. Today in the shop we have a Hyundai Elantra inline. We've got a new mud flap and splash guard fitment. We're going to show you how to install them. The install is going to cover both of those. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Here we have the tools laid out that you'll need for install. Today we're just going to be using our 90 degree screwdriver with a PH3 Phillips head bit. Or you can just use a standard shorty or regular screwdriver. Here we have your front laid out. What you'll get in your kit is your front flap or splash guard for that corner and then the hardware. We'll go ahead and put a breakdown of that hardware on the screen right now. Now let's go ahead, go over to the vehicle and begin installing. So we went ahead, got the car up on the lift. We're here by the front fender. We're going to go ahead and remove the two factory screws from right here and right here. You can reuse these, but we're just going to set them to the side. We're going to use our one inch screws with inch and a quarter washers to secure the flap. Now we're going to go ahead and mount it right into that bottom insert. That'll support our flap. Now we'll swing it up and around, going through the top hole and going right back into that upper insert. Now we'll grab our Phillips head screwdriver. We'll get those just barely snug, enough that we can still move the flap around. We'll go ahead, check it, look at it. And if you'd like, you can also take a level and check along the bottom edge here to set it level. If not, you can always take a step back, make sure it looks good, get it to the position you want. Go ahead, get this set how we'd like. And now we'll go ahead and fully tighten these down. With those fully tightened down, that completes the front. You can repeat these same steps on the other side. Now, let's go ahead and jump to the rear. Here we have your rear laid out. What you'll get in your kit is your mud flap or splash guard for that corner. Then you'll also get your spacer and the hardware. We'll go ahead and put a breakdown of that hardware on the screen right now. Now let's head over to the vehicle and begin installing. Here we are at the rear of the vehicle. We're going to begin by removing the two factory screws from right here and right here. They're just a Phillips head screw, so we'll go ahead and set those to the side. Now we'll grab our screws, which are a one inch screw with an inch and a quarter washer. We'll prep those by putting the washers on the screws. And then we'll go ahead, we'll grab our flap. We're going to put the spacer on the same side as the logo, so it goes between the flap and the body. We'll take our screws, I'm going to put them both in, I'm going to hold them like that, and then I'm just going to lift the flap into position, and I'm going to align both holes, while supporting the bottom, I'll start the top, and then I'll start the bottom. Now I'll grab my screwdriver, I'll go ahead. Now as you're tightening, you want to make sure that that spacer is on the inside of the bumper. There's just a little bit of a ledge, and so that's going to help keep that nice and even while you tighten this down. So we'll go ahead and put these just barely snug like we did the front. Now we'll go ahead and we'll adjust it. We'll take a step back, look at it, get it into the position that we want. You can also check the bottom edge with the level. Once we, once we like it, we'll go ahead and we'll lock those down. Alright, now that we've got those fully tightened down, that's how you complete the rear install. You can repeat these same steps on the other side. Thanks for watching.